All right, we should have given you a toss update in the Rajasthan Royals versus Gujarat Titans encounter. Who's bowling or who's batting? We should have told you by this now. But unfortunately, that is not the case. There is a delay in the toss because of rain at the Savai Mansingh Stadium. A little birdie told me that at 3.30 onwards, there was steady rain at some parts of Jaipur. There, it was raining towards 5 or 6 o'clock. The covers were firmly in place. But... Don't worry, it's not going to be a big delay because most of the covers have come off. Only the center part of the wicket is under covers. And some of the Rajasthan Royals GT players have begun their warm-up drills. So, delay I think should be somewhere about 15 to 20 minutes as per my estimate at this point. See, at this point, one good thing is that we know there's not going to be a significant delay. Uh, when we say significant delay, we of course mean that, uh, you know, there is, let's say, no issues when it comes to... Uh, you know, there being a long time of waiting and watching and then waiting and watching some more, you would hope that was never going to be the case. And the good news is that that is not in fact the case because, well, you're getting news, as Siddharth rightly pointed out, that the covers, we did see the covers being removed and we also, uh, you know, saw some of the players come out, start doing their drills. That's a very good sign. It means that any delay you have will be negligible and should not hopefully have a major impact on the game being pushed back. I mean, it's a little surprise it's taken this long in the season for us to have our first rain interruption. Of the when was the last time we had a rain delay in the final. IPL? Uh, no, barring that uh, three-day test final. When no, was I it? mean, even beyond that, I remember last year was a pretty bad year for uh, rain in uh -huh. the IPL. There were a couple of games, I remember Delhi, which almost got impacted. Uh, and oh, yeah. you were having a weird seasonal rain. CSK, rain. CSK LSG got impacted by rain. I think that Big was a no time. result. Yes, yes, yes. At the Ekana, that was one game that was rained yeah, out. Yeah, points were shared in that particular game. Yes, 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 yes. So that's why it is a rather awkward situation that we are seeing at this point in time here. Because April mid, mm, until this time you don't get that much of rain up in the west of India or in the northern part of India. But yes. It was threatening to rain in certain areas. I mean, there has been rain in Punjab also. When will Delhi NCR get rain? I don't know because it's absolutely steaming at this point in time up here. So, I mean, if you think it's bad now, Siddharth, it is nah. only going to get worse because we are reaching a point where the heat wave will be striking in the north of India. Oh. So, if you think it's going to get better, well, it's going to get worse before it gets That's better. That's why I don't look at uh, May or April as uh, very good months to be in because... Yeah, I weather get... forecast-wise, probably not the best time to be in Delhi. Yes. I mean, there is a Tamil song uh, talking about the summer in uh, Tamil Nadu. I mean, that is also equally, if not even worse than this. I mean, mm. it goes like... I'll give an English translation of it. In the month of April and May, when everything is dry, everything is just absolutely nothing to look forward to. We don't like this place. We don't like this universe. <laughs> that is how we feel in the month of April and May, especially up here. I mean, coming here at 3 in the afternoon. Oh. It's it's definitely not the most fun time to be coming to office. I know. That way. That's why we hope for a bit of rain. But at least it shouldn't happen in the middle of an IPL game. I mean, you've seen how bad it has been. I mean, last year, if I have to look at it, we had a three-day final in the IPL. That was how bad it was. And I remember in 2017, there was a traumatic eliminator that oh went to two God. days. Three hours later, you're going to see overs being reduced. So much for getting the game done, but no care whatsoever for audiences in that for sense. Fads, media personalities, even the players. Can you imagine how terrible it must be waiting and waiting and waiting? I know. And then having to play a six game shootout, basically. Six over shootout. Six over shootout. That was even terrible in that sense. So, yeah, contrasting fortunes when you look at both Rajasthan Royals and the Gujarat Titans. Oh, yeah. Rajasthan One Royals. Versus seven, remember? Yeah, Rajasthan Royals are the only unbeaten team in IPL 2024 so far. GT, on the other hand, are in seventh position after they lost their last game to the Lucknow Super Giants, mm. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was a slow pitch game. Yeah. And that is why a lot of questions need to be asked about Shubman Gill, his captaincy, because Regarding one particular bowler, Darshan Nalkhande, I mean, how on earth? Well, let's, let's say player, because remember, they used him as a batter also last game for some reason. Ahead when, of a Rahul Tewati. Yeah, yeah, when there was no, let's say, logical reasoning that we could figure out. I mean, it's not like he's shown anything in the nets or his career that, you know, uh, you're going to be uh, backing him at yeah. that level. 
so i don't know there are a lot of uh, questionable uh, let's say calls that have been made even smaller ones some not so good reviews mm. and stuff like that it's not been plain sailing for captain shubman gill but if you're going by say last season again gt are one of those new teams so yeah. trends are a little hard to call but last year it was rather weird for both these teams because gti won the game that was played in jaipur mm. and rajasthan royals won the game played in ahmedabad, ahmedabad yes. so they took points off each other at home plus yeah right? it and even in 2022 you remember mm. the gti had a very good record against rr mm. they defeated them in both the qualifier one and the final did they beat them even in the i think one game in the group stage they did I right think, yeah. yeah i mean uh, the gt and rr did a rcb csk of 2008 mm. rcb took points off csk in chepok CSK took points of them at uh, Chinnaswamy. Correct. But <laughs> since then, RCB have never won in Chebok. Correct. So you can do, you can check that video out on home dominance. Which team dominates at home? Not surprisingly, Rajasthan Royals are second in that table for yeah, home they, dominance. They love their home comforts. I mean, they are one team that have really made the Savai Man Singh. a fortress i mean the two teams csk rr i think are teams that are very very tough mm, to beat yeah. at home not the easiest teams to take on other other teams have very mixed records mumbai has a 60% record mm. but yeah that in the last couple of years if you may say mumbai has become a fortress but then the worst are dc and rcb and even pbks pbks which what can you call this home ground for them they yeah, played at they played in like four five different stadiums every year they'll have an alternative home yeah. ground right they always have like mullapur mohali dharamshala in indor nagpur all of them have See, every year they have two games in dharamshala by yes. default sometimes if the mohali fans are not so lucky then there'll be two games elsewhere also elsewhere, which yes. means that basically out of the eight home games or seven home games you've gotten like three or four yeah have, how a way to build a home fan base no that's why you can't have a home fan but they still have an even head to head uh, if you look at home played 32 uh, lost uh, 132 lost 32 that is how it is when you look at but four or five different home grounds we don't know what it is so even now the update is the main square even the wicker the covers there have been removed so that is why we may not be about maybe another 5 to 7 minutes before the toss happens but there are two major issues one is the fitness of aridiman saha whether he'll come back for that we don't know but david miller gujarat need david miller because with his absence we saw how they struggled in that lsg game isn't Correct. it and i mean see that's the thing with miller what the, what they do and normally what uh, let's say an uh, gt have always relied on is having a power hitting lower down the order now with miller not there it's compromised significantly because again miller and tawati are the two players who they would always yeah. look to to kind of give them that impetus in the uh, later overs whether it be in the latter parts of the middle or the death overs mm. they'd always be around But no Miller and sadly Kane just doesn't fill the void at all. Mm. I mean Kane's a fine player in his own right, but A he's been struggling in T20s for far too long. B uh. at number 3 he tends to hold the team back because again that anchor role which he'll end up playing him Sai Sudarshan. I mean with Sai at least we know he's a player who can turn it on. With Kane not so much at his best he's giving you mid 130s. Okay so we have the toss for you at 7:25 p.m which is in the next 12 minutes you're going minutes. to see the, it's just a 10 minute delay if you have to look at it 7:25 p.m is the toss 7:40 the first ball will be bowled no overs have been lost you're going to see a full 40 over game unless there is yet more rain delays yep. which we pray barring, doesn't happen yeah barring any further rain delays i don't think you're getting let's say uh, you know even more uh, let's say waiting because again the delay which is there is bare minimum 725 is the toss yeah. which means a 25 minute delay is what you got and the game starts at 740 which means you're only starting 10 minutes late yeah. no scope whatsoever of overs being lost nope. because that's the good thing with the uh, the delay being so minimal so minimal and if i think according to the league stages if there is a delay of more than 1 hour that's when overs start overs to start to reduce at that point in time because their aim is to ensure that no game gets washed out you have a result in every game unless the rain is so persistent that it doesn't allow so maybe one hour delay taking this into account 50 minutes more from that point on you start losing overs every 4 or 6 minutes i'll have to look at the playing conditions for rain in ipl what happens in case of a rain delay so we had dug that up in a big big way in the final of ipl 
it was a three day final and do not remind me of that game it was just terrible it was i mean terrible. the final was great but the amount it extended and extended and extended it was just eesh i know especially after two and a half month ipl ah. exactly and this time also two and a half months followed by more t20 action in the world t20 and by the way today is 10th april and in 20 days from now potentially we could have the squad announcement for so the now is really a good time if you are any player who is there or there about in contention to suddenly start getting a few good knocks in another good uh, opportunity for dhruv jurel and sanju samson i would say way. sanju in particular because again he's been in imperious form dhruv has barely gone to bat such as been the form of our stop order that they've just been yes. handling games by themselves and at most you were needing maybe a parak to come in and even he's coming in like four five Hetmar is very bad, eh? never mind Jarrell. So, <laughs> I know. Uh, Jarrell actually at this point in time seems a bit of an outside candidate. Sanju, on the other hand, I mean, we always say that he starts well and tapers off. He rode back into good form last time around against RCB. He'd be keen to actually get another good knock under his belt. You know, the quick fire, fifty, yeah. sixty under your belt. You make yourself a little harder to ignore. Although yesterday we got an exclusive confirmation that was there with Sports Today that the selectors are really, really keen. On, on a Rishabh certain RP seventeen or Rishabh Pant. I have mixed emotions about that one. I have always been saying, if you get a Rishabh Pant in, there is an EQ factor, the emotional quotient factor attached to it. I mean, sure, he's looked okay with the bat, but is it enough? Is And it? looking at Pant's T twenty I career, which has not been setting the stage on fire, track, right? yeah, that too he'll be batting at number six or a seven. Mm. What do you do then? But can you ignore a Rishabh Pant because if he's there, then several uh, birds are killed with one stone. You if you can, look at it. you can ignore him because again, if uh, and I, this is a very interesting thing. I remember someone mentioning um, or mentioning me on a post on X, probably mm. on his Twitter, uh, that you know, if you're going purely by numbers, then uh, you know, if you're suddenly going by that, then why why is it that you're even looking away from a KL Rahul? KL in T20 World Cups is averaging in the mid 30s yeah. with a strike rate of nearly 140. So why exactly is he then being ignored? If you are going purely by numbers and mm. that's your only obsession, then look at that number also, na? In T20 World Cups, his numbers actually aren't bad. Why is it that he's not kept out, or why is it that he's kept out? Impact. Impact. There's a yeah. lack of impact. There's a distinct lack of impact. You've seen it happen, particularly in the bigger games. With Rishabh Pant, unfortunately, it's the same thing. There's been a lack of impact. And his underlying number are not great. I yeah. mean, I'm sorry if you played like 50, 60, T20 eyes and your strike rate is 120 odd, then for a player of his caliber, mm. that's a disappointment. I mean, he is like a Virendra Sehwag, an absolute beast in tests, a format which we le- less expected him to succeed, and we thought he'll succeed in T20s because of his style. But no, it's reverse. Test beast. T20 is just like Virendra Sehwag. Him, Virendra Sehwag, and also another player in there, Ben Stokes. Ben Stokes, Same. yes. Same. You look at Ben Stokes when he's playing in full force, and like this guy should be a brute in T20 cricket. Yeah. But his best format is Test and ODI. Test cricket, yeah. In uh, T20s, he also striking it at nearly 130. But although Stokes did win England the World Cup, I mean, see, that's the thing. That's where yeah. again, impact-wise, he's good. Because he's had those match-winning knocks. In fact, in that same World Cup, 2022, he won them one match yeah. in the group stages against Sri Lanka by batting cautiously. Yes. Because he played through, he realized it wasn't a high-scoring kind of a wicket, but the wicket was being tricky. Hmm. So he played through, ensured that they got home, and then the final also impactful knock. Yeah. So impact-wise, you could say he's had a few good knocks, but with Pant, neither is there. Underlying surface-level numbers, not good. Not good. Impact. Also not good. Yeah. So you just don't understand where it is to go, and I don't get why it is this sudden this thing. Because again, he's previously like if you go by last year's T20 World Cup, he batted at six. Mm-hmm. Because again, your top five was sorted. Yeah. You had KL, you had Rohit, you had Virat, Virat Sky. You had Sky, and then Hardik Pandya coming at five. And the same is going to happen in 2024 also. Uh, unbelievably, except KL, yeah. you basically only made one change to your batting lineup. Yes, the Shashri or Shubman. Huh, the batting lineup which you said lost to your T20 World Cup. I don't don't know two T20 world cups if you yeah, look at 21 it 21 and 22 although surya i think wasn't there in 21 no surya wasn't there in 21 he wasn't there in yeah. 21 in 22 he was there but see that's the problem and now this is a very important game for a certain yashasvi jaiswal because jaiswal in the last four games has not been good at all mm. got out for a duck in the game versus royal challengers bengaluru and the shot that he played 
showed that he was under pressure even and the mumbai indians game also i mean it's funny you mentioned jaiswal because this is really today is the day where both the uh, openers were auditioning to be alongside rohit will be in action yes kill from one side and jaiswal from the other absolutely it's shubman versus yashasvi today and a uh, supposing supposing if shubman has a very consistent ipl like how he did may not be the 890 style ipl that was there in 2023 maybe if he has a 500 and jaiswal looking at it see he just has five more games potentially until april 30th yeah. to prove a point but what if he doesn't do that then see he'll be part of the squad but what i don't see him starting it's it's hard yeah. so i would stick with him again he gives you such an impetus up the top plus a left hand exactly that's the thing i would stick with him but we all know how it is that indian cricket works Recency all wise. about what have you done for me lately is the way exactly and also shubman to his credit bounced back well in the test series and not just test series even in the oh, see ipl so far he hasn't got big runs in a lot of games but his strike rate's been good he's been looking to play with yeah. a good intent which normally he was kind of hit or miss at times in the last couple of seasons with gt he wasn't always banging at the door yep. he would get you big runs at a decent strike rate this time around he's looking to be more aggressive so i like that i know it it shows that there's a growth in his game in that regard that he doesn't mind being overly explosive early on so early that's on. good but again would i still uh, drop him or drop uh, gil or jaiswal for him probably not but yeah, as i said what have you done for me lately is the name of the game that is the problem that you got so yes it's yashasvi was a shubman for the opening or uh, slot audition that's happening you also have a sanju once again getting another chance i think dhruv now you can count him as an outlier he's not uh, at best at best. at best so see both are making it to the uh, squad but who's starting that's the major question so far shubman is ahead in the race yashasvi is way behind because two failures prominent failures i may add that 10 versus mumbai indians where he looked to be in real real he tried to hit the ball too hard and the pressure showed against Ra, royal challengers bengaluru i was surprised by the choice of shot honestly i mean how can a guy with such aggressive intent play a kind of half hearted shot get caught for a silver dug if you have mm. to look at it so for people who are joining us now the toss is in 4 minutes time at mm. 725 the first ball will be bowled at 740 because of rain that had happened and that is why no overs will be lost we are just 4 minutes away from the start of the toss let's see but if you look at it the trends that have happened at savai mansing i know i think it's a mixed bag chasing also you are okay so even if you look at uh, putting up a total you are okay because of the overhead conditions today you're not going to find dew mm. it will be swinging conditions maybe a bit of freshness on the wicket that might have crept in because of the rain so it's a tough call for a captain whether he'll bat or bowl i think given everything and the amount of unknowns again this is a pitch number 4 mm. that is being used and it does have a bit of grass cover on it so oh. it's it's going to be a bit bouncy if things go well you might get some early movement if i'm if i win the toss as a captain i'm putting in the opposition to bat mm. because i'm thinking listen even if it's a belter of a track it means it's not going to change it means conditions will be okay so, so correct me if i'm wrong i think gt chased down against rr in 2023 in the league game that happened at savai man singh i think it was a pretty quick chase if yeah, i have to I look at so. it yeah so that is why rajasthan royals look setting a total or chasing a total they have both found it easy last game you remember at the savai man singh it was one while chasing they chased down a total of 180 but it proved to be well below par and not just that remember people t- always will talk about that 6 in the 920th over but the game was done and dusted before then and also off note they only needed one run in the 20th over yes. so it was really done and dusted the only reason it took them that long is because the uh, mm. rr batters yeah. wanted to get uh, josh butler to that 100 yeah oh, so people are saying that oh it went to the final they are offering legitimacy for that no no people will try it. i mean to be fair reasons <sighs> can be found for anything if you are really clutching at straws then there's no lens you will not go to right oh boy yes 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 but see the mindset is that look in an odi batting right through helps fine mm. you can take your time but in a t20 a look if you bat through you have to score in excess of 150 or 160 why a gale was so effective a gale 66 ball 175 i mean that is as impactful as it can be i mean he took the game away 
you have to score big and score very quick because see modern day t20 batting suggests you have to capitalize on the power play a score in excess of 80 or 70 by the end of six overs that's where you dictate the course of the game you can't have a six over 45 or a six over 50 that era is done i mean i was doing some number crunching and i realized that rcb right now are the team with the worst economy in the power play but do you know what their economy is? 9.6. Now That, that means you, 54, 55 that, plus. Uh, yeah, that tells you just how much the bar has been pushed. That they can be scoring at only 10 and still be the slowest team in the IPL. But then again, this is the Whoa. same IPL where you've seen uh, KKR get 80 in the power play. Yeah. You've seen them get 70 odd in the power play. Even right? Mumbai Indians may got 75, 80, I think yeah. versus uh, yeah. DC in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Even SRH, remember? Oh. That chase, the record chase which they attempted. Yeah. There also, they went for it in the power plays. That is the mentality. It's attack, 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 attack. That's the mentality. Yeah. You're not looking to Gone are those days when, oh, I will hold my one end up and then the others can go bang, bang. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That doesn't happen. Remember, in the 1996 period also, how Sri Lanka were ahead of the curve. Jaisuriya never consolidated when Kaluvitrana was going bang, bang. Both attacked. And if Kaluvitrana doesn't get you, Jaisuriya will. If Jaisuriya doesn't get you, Kalu will. That's how it is. See, why can't it be Virat doesn't get you Faf will? If Faf doesn't get you Virat will. Both attack, attack, anyway, attack. Back to the game at hand and the Gujarat Titans have won the toss and Shubman Gill has, as I predicted, chosen, chosen to, to bowl. bowl. Oh, repeat of 2023 because last time when uh, GT had won the toss, they had chosen to bowl. Their bowlers really set it up well with some good swing bowling and it is because of this RR were just undone and it was a blazing, blazing start. I think Hardik Pandya hit a couple of, uh, he hit a blitz if I am not mistaken. I, I think, think so. In that last game. So that's why, yep. That's how it is. GT opting to bowl after the toss was delayed with rain and with a fresh wicket that is there. GT, as you know, are seventh in the table. If they win today, they might be in that mid-table scrap even more now. Mm. Because tomorrow is another bottom of the table scrap if you look at it. But it, they can go to mid table, MIRCB. So, this win is very, very, this game is very important for GT. They have to win this. Otherwise, either an MI or an RCB will go ahead of them in that sense. So, okay, Matthew Wade. Okay, there's a couple of changes in the team. Matthew Wade comes in for Kane Williamson. Long overdue, I would say. Yeah, so he won't open. He'll be at number 5. That's but the position he bats he, in. Yeah, I mean, he could open also. He's done it in T20s so rather effectively in the big batch. But, oh, but then, uh, is he saying that maybe Sai Sudarshan will open with Shubman? I really have no idea. I mean, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Know what it is that team looks like. But yep. I think, yeah, bringing in Wade for Kane, good move because... Mm. Kane sadly wasn't really doing much to justify that. Yeah, uh, Kane I think is in such a downward slope when it comes to T20s. You had to keep him on the sideline. And I'm sorry, a 1 or 5 or any other knock apart from that, Kane just doesn't fit in the modern template. So, yeah, he's out and Matthew Wade comes in. I think I should bat him at number 5. Oh, and Abhinav Manohar comes in. Even more of an indication that uh, I think uh, Wade is going to be opening because there's no Saha, right? There's no Saha. So, I think is Avino Manohar your keeper? Or no, Wade, Wade, Wade will, will be your keep, keeper. Wade yeah. will keep wickets and he'll also open. So, I think you're going with an mm. opening option potentially of Gill. No, maybe it'll be uh, Sudarshan and uh, Gill. Maybe Avino Manohar will be three. He's your number three, Avino Manohar. Yeah, Gil. correct. But I'm saying if you have to uh, play anyone natural positions, I think Wade would be best as an opener, kind of go blazing, get a quick mm. fire 2030. With Sai Sudarshan, he can play in the middle order also and be fine. Yeah. We know, he okay. tends to accelerate in that regard. But, yep. By the way, Sanju Samson also stated that you would have wanted to bowl. I think uh, you will get some movement, whichever bowling team capitalizes on in this case, if RR capitalizes on it. But, I mean, if you look at it, GT, who are their swing bowlers, if you have to look at it? But Asmat didn't play in the last game. It was a Spencer Johnson who so, played. And I mean, even with Spencer, he normally doesn't always bowl with the new mm. ball. So I think they might, will be reliant on uh, Nomesh to get that early movement. Ouch. Uh, and maybe Darshan Nalkande? I Nalkande. I hope it is Nalkande who bats and bowls. Yeah, a bit confused. Oh, even Sanju is confused. That's what this impact rule has confused not just Sanju Samson, it also confused Shreya Sayer to the hilt. Hmm. I am really confused now. What is my team? There is uh, one change that I think he said. 
a bit confused you can see it on the sheet so, so I, i don't know if they have any changes here ah, we will we'll know soon enough we'll once uh, soon the up, host broadcasters flash their graphics exactly so two changes are there in the gujarat titans team there is matthew wade who will be the keeper and abhinav manohar is in it will be interesting to see what is the team composition uh, shane believes that wade should open i believe wade should be batting at number 5 you can open with a sai sudarshan and a gill play abhinav manohar at 3 number 4 can be uh, i forgot who okay so let's look at the rajasthan royals team first yashasvi joss sanju riyan parag dhruv jurel hetmeyer ravichandran ashwin trent bolt avesh khan oh there is a kuldeep sen in place of sandeep sharma sandeep sharma but no. sandeep sharma didn't play the last game also no oh they, they they've gone with three foreigners then ah there is no oh, they'll get an andre burger exactly they'll get an andre burger as the impact Yes, they'll get Nandre as their impact player. So that is the thing. Okay, so yes, Avesh, Bolt, Nandre, that will be a thing. Yuzi Chahal and uh, Ashwin, because and Kuldeep Sen. Kuldeep Sen. That's six bowling options and six pure bowling options. Jeez. Yes, 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 yes. So they have opted to field. Okay, yeah. so yes, so that's why RR once uh, Hetmeyer uh, plays or anybody play, of the batters play, then I think you'll get in the Nandre burger then. Correct. Butler, Bolt, Hetmeyer. These are your three overseas. As of now. Yes. As of now, and we haven't yet. Okay. Oh, we've got Gujarat's playing eleven, and Sai Sudarshan is listed as an opener with Matthew yes. Wade being at five. So Shubman Gill, Sai Sudarshan, Abhinav Manohar, Vijay Shankar, Matthew Wade, Rahul Tewatia, Rashid Khan. Umesh Yadav, Spencer Johnson, Noor Ahmed, and Mohit Sharma. They're batting. They're batting second. Good sir. Yes. Ah, okay. Because I was wondering why does they only have seven batters, but then they can easily impact up in someone. Yeah. Mostly, who can they be their impact sub? We'll have so to check uh, that out. They'll uh, take out Mohit. Mohit. He usually used to be their impact sub, and they'll bring in someone like. Uh, I don't know. Today would be a good day to bring in a Sharukh if he's on the bench. Mohammad Sharukh Khan, yes, but yes, I'm yes. not sure if he is on the bench. Yeah, we'll have to check out their impact. So Shuman, Sai Sudarshan, Vijay Shankar, Vijay Shankar also has been in woeful form with the bat. I mm. mean, in 2023 he had something to hold on to, but here. Absolutely nothing so far. In the so far, years. nothing has been going well for him. Nope. And uh, uh, how many foreigners they are playing? Four foreigners. They're playing four because you've got Rashid, Wade, uh, Noor Ahmed, Spencer. Spencer Johnson, and Wade. That's yeah, four. That's so four. it has to be an Indian player who comes in for them. Yeah, pretty yep. simple, really. Pretty simple. So I think yes, that is the uh, combination. But I'm uh, looking at who can be the impacts of for Gujarat because they haven't announced the. Yeah, we subs don't know what the it. subs are as of now. Because I think they'd have to bring in a batter, right? If they're chasing, yeah. then just bringing in a batter only makes perfect sense because that would be the only thing that yeah. you would be doing in that sort of a circumstance. Yeah, but uh, so far for me, the bowling, if I have to look at it, Rajasthan Royals look much more settled. Oh yeah, far more, far more. Because again, uh, GT have also made a lot of chopping and changing. Oh wait, something is wrong here and something is wrong in the host broadcast because we had said Kuldeep Sen, right? Hmm. But here they have put Navdeep Sen. Okay. Yeah. It seems to be a little bit of confusion. I mean, uh, Sachin got it wrong. We don't know what Bradman has stated at this mm-hmm. point. We are waiting for that. But Navdeep Saini or Kuldeep Sen, that we have to check it out at this point. Okay. So we are waiting on that. There's some confusion. Maybe it is. Oh, oh yeah, it is Kuldeep Sen. So yes. I think they have got it wrong, probably. Then. Yeah, I think Sachin's I think. got it wrong. Yes, that's what even I'm thinking. Yeah. So let's look at the impacts. Of, but then today it is Yashasvi versus Shubman. Whoever does well in that, and another important game for Riyan Parag because he started off well in three games. Last game he Can played he that shot, yeah. and that's the thing. But if he does well here. he won't have a chance in the indian team they are not stating that particular thing but as far as the bowling is concerned see trend bolt and nandre burger have given a different dimension to the rajasthan royals pace lineup but yes avesh had a bad day hmm. in the game versus rcb if he continues to have a bad day then their backups don't inspire me that much of confidence you know kuldeep sen and uh, nandeep saini yeah. yeah that doesn't inspire me too much of confidence but ashwin and uh, chehel man they are the new spin twins and it is ashwin chehel versus rashid noor mm. i mean if you look at it off spin leg spin leg spin left Fair arm enough. so that all the variations are covered in this barring a left arm orthodox <laughs> so i mean uh, they they do have someone like a sai kishore on the bench they just never play him i so. know ravi shrinivas sai kishore wherever he goes in the ipl there is never a good 
team for him. No team values his services because he's done so well for uh, domestic cricket. And whenever he's gotten the chances, okay. So the RR bench at this point is Rovman Powell, Tanush Kotian, Shubham Dube, Keshav Maharaj and Navdeep. So Sam. they'll bring him Shubham Dube, right? They're, hmm. they're going to bat, uh, well, they're batting first. So, so that means, oh, they're, they're batting first. Yes. Uh-huh. So they'll bring in a bowler, but there's no, they bring in Keshav? Keshav Maharaj for this wicket? They could bring in a Keshav, they could yeah. bring in a Rovman. Ah, so, so, okay, Butler, uh, you may say Hetmeyer and Bolt, these are your only three foreigners and GT are fielding, RR are batting first. So, are they going to get in a Keshav Maharaj? It seems so. Because if you get a Rovman Powell, where you, or wait, would you want to get an extra spinner on a deck which has got a lot of assistance for pace bowling? No, but also uh, what the pitch report said is that it might get slower later on. Huh? So, oh. in the middle overs, it might not be that easy to score. You might go with another spinner. And you were just saying about not having a left arm orthodox. Keshav Could Maharaj. be Keshav Maharaj. Keshav Maharaj ki jai ho. Maybe he might come in at Jaipur today. And, so. and also GT's bench. Uh, yes, there's a BR Sharad. Rashar Khan. Please God let the man play. Darshan Nalkande, Manav Sathar and Sai Kishore. Mostly it will be Shah Rukh Khan. Because Shah Rukh or Sharad. It has to be one of them. Man, if it's like uh, apples and oranges. I mean... That is the quality. Sharat is an accumulator, but Shah Rukh Khan is a dasher. Yeah. Exactly. You would want Shah Rukh Khan to bat in at number 7. Because see, after Rahul Tevatiya, Rashid Khan is there. But then Rashid Khan is a bonus. Hmm. You would want a moment Shah Rukh Khan. See, Shah, Rashid is your 7. If you bring in uh, Shah Rukh Khan, then that makes Rashid your 8, which is, I think, an elongated in a batting line. No? Exactly. Because after that, you can still have an Umesh, uh, more than handy bat. Nine, yeah. You know, Spencer, Anur. These guys to hang around. Mohit Sharma is nothing. He's going to be impacted. So yeah. he'll be impact subbed out. So I think yeah, you have to bring in a Sharuk, put him at number seven. It just makes perfect sense because yeah. otherwise, if unless, they bring in BR Sharat, I don't know. Unless GT think of Darshan Nalkande as a batter that he promoted him up uh, even higher than Rahul Tewatia. Who knows? I hope not. I really hope. Not. I mean that is the way how I look at. So. By our estimates, I think the GT bench should be Shah Rukh Khan. Correct. And for RR, somewhere down there, I think it is Keshav Maharaj. Yeah, because they have that option. Of course, they also have a plan B in the sense that if they find their batting collapses a little bit, Robin then Paul. you can bring in a Robin Paul. He'd give you that advantage mm. of, you know, being a power hitter down the order and giving you maybe a couple of overs also. Yeah, that's the thing. So, Robman Powell, let's see how that pans out. So, it's either Robman Powell or Keshav Maharaj or unless they are so uh, happy with their three foreigners, they get in a Shubham Dube. Haan, or a Tanush Kotia, yeah? who knows. Uh, no, Kot- Tanush, you wouldn't bring in. Actually, no, they're b- bowling first. So, hmm. yeah, it doesn't make any sense for them to... They may want to get in a Shubham Dube then, in that sense. So, that is why RR will be uh, batting first and then later on, they'll be bowling second. Yeah, so, then, actually, then more chance of them getting in a bowler. Yeah, actually, Keshav. Actually, it's either Keshav or Tanush or Navdeep if they want another pacer, which I don't think they need, really. They don't need another pacer. And if they find it's a bit of a sluggish wicket, you may well very well because go for you have player. a Avesh, you have a Bolt, you have a Kuldeep Sen. Why not get in another spinner to ensure that okay? But then your death overs are seriously compromised. Yeah, that's the only problem. But of course, if we are bringing in Navdeep Seni for death overs, oh. then forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. And Keshav Maharaj will ensure that okay, he'll give you some good overs in the middle. Correct. Say from 8 to 16. So that's the only way I look at it. So hmm, it's interesting, but both teams seem to have plenty of options. Yeah. That's one good thing. I think now so, you're seeing teams kind of mm. diversify their options when it comes to the impact sub. So let's look at some sawal before yes, the match uh, we'll uh, begins. Take some questions. Yeah, so Sawal, Yahapar, what's what does our Janta? What is our uh, what are the family members saying? Yeah. Let's, let's take some questions and then make a prediction. Let's make a prediction, yes. Uh, uh, let's quickly make a prediction whilst we wait. Uh I am saying Wow, this is a tough one. This really is I tough. am saying RR make about one hundred and 60, hmm. but I think they are suffering the first loss. I think GT are going to win. Yeah, I also think, you know, uh, the toss gives them a big advantage here, that is GT. So, I think they get to about 178 RR, but GT end up winning. Yeah, it might be, it might be. So, Akash Bharadwaj is saying, guys, still now is Sanju the best captain and I will add Pat too. Uh, 
I mean, Sanju has captained well. You yeah. can't take that away from him. And yes, I think Pat Cummins, the way he's marshaled his troops at SRH, I mean, a breath of fresh air for the franchise. I mean, they've already done better than what they were last season. Exactly. And they're right in the mid-table scrap at this point. So, mm. that's the thing. Ashish, the GT should win if they restrict RR to under 150. DD was never the same side once Dhawan, Sehwag and Gambhir left. I will add Shreya Sayyar. Yeah. Because again, once Ayer left, Dhawan left, their entire team composition just went off. AB De Villiers left. See, but at least with in the AB time, of course, yeah, they didn't really have a replacement. Exactly. Right? So, just go up a bit. Uh, go up, go up. Up. Okay, Piyush Nandre. Okay, Dex said, why is there a kind of a civil war and chaos going on inside Pakistan cricket? That's always been Pakistan cricket. Yeah, this is nothing new, uh, ah. Dex. I mean, Pakistan cricket and Pakistan ever since ex creation has always been in civil war. And chaos, I mean, if you thought Imran Khan's side was not chaotic, you get a reality check. It was a big, big... Huge issue going on with Pakistan cricket ever since creation. So, nothing new in there. Karachi versus Lahore, the lobby is always there in India, in Pakistan cricket. In Indian cricket, in the 70s and the 80s, it was Delhi versus Bombay. Correct. That kind of lobby was always, always there. Up, up. Let's go up. Mm. Okay. I think we took Ashish there. We yeah, took, there's a lot of repeats there as yeah, well. So. There is a lot of repeat in that sense, yes. So, let's see. Oops. Okay, there's a, a Piyush Nandre is saying 214, and oh, that's a big, big thing. Akash yeah. Barwa, Shane is City winning against Real in second leg and win the league? Uh, both possibilities because again, their second leg is in the Atehar. And as far as league fixtures go, I've done a video, you can check that out. It's on Sports Day. Uh, you know, they have the easiest run in. Yeah, they do, they do. Uh, Piyush Nandre is saying Rinku and Jaiswal making great effort that both Rohit and Virat make in playing 11 of T20 World Cup and nobody feels bad. Great tribute by youngsters to senior. Piyush Nandre, I'm telling you, is next level. Yaar. Mm. I am, he has been the commenter for Sports Today in IPL 2024. Quite some time. Wit, next level. I like Sports Warriors comment also. He said that Virat Kohli is a Punjabi, born and raised in Delhi, plays for Royal Challengers Bangalore. All three of those teams have not won the IPL. You sure got competition in sports for you. Wow, no man. I mean, those three have the worst home record in IPL. And it's clear, the team that doesn't do well at home cannot aspire to win the IPL title. So That's just how it is. And the match has gotten underway. So, we shall take your leave. We both are backing uh, GT for the win. Yeah. And RR suffering the first loss. Let's see. So, bye-bye from all of us. And we'll be back for the mid-innings.